a video lecture on introduction to accounting. So our topic in today's video is on multiple choice questions relating to introduction to accounting part 2. Let's move on to the first question. While checking the accounts of ABC company, the following discrepancies were noticed. Even though the trial balance was made to balance by putting the difference to suspense account, there has been certain information which has been given why we required to open the suspense account. Now from the above details, what would be or rather be the difference in trial balance which was made to balance by opening the suspense account. Now let's understand. First, sales day book for the month of June 2012 was found overcast by rupees 7000. That means the credit side is higher by rupees 7000. Sales goes to the credit side of a trial balance and therefore since it is overcast, therefore 7000 rupees is more on the credit side. Number two, a credit purchase of rupees 3000 was omitted to be recorded in the day's book. Now the credit purchase of rupees 3000 has been omitted which means to say purchase required to go high by rupees 3000 and since it's a credit purchase creditors also goes high by rupees 3000. Now purchase is normally recorded on the debit side of trial balance and creditors will be recorded on the credit side of trial balance therefore in turn both debit and credit side required to be increased by rupees 3000 therefore after taking the second transaction into consideration, still on the credit side of trial balance, it's rupees 7000 rupees more. Number three, rupees 4300 received from A credited to A's account as 3400. Now, you have received an amount from Mr. A, therefore A is a data. The amount should have been 4300, has been recorded as 3400. So it is undercast by rupees 900. Therefore, on the debit side, we require to add 900. Therefore, the difference between the debit and the credit will be the credit side is right now overcast by rupees 6100 which is 7000 minus 900. Last, purchase of office equipment worth rupees 5000 included in trading purchases. So it has gone into purchase account rather it should have been gone to office equipment account. Now we require to reduce it from purchase and include it in office equipment. Ultimately debit side remains same so there is no impact. Therefore, ultimately my credit side is overcast by rupees 6100. So the credit side is more, therefore the answer will be D. So next question, goods worth rupees 5000 purchased from A on credit will be recorded. Now since in a cash book, all cash and bank related transactions are normally recorded and there will be no credit transaction in a cash book. Therefore, nowhere in the cash book, the answer will be C. Let's move on to the next question. The total of debit side of discount column of a cash book, the discount column of a cash book debit side is discount allowed and the credit side uh, is basically termed to be discount received. Therefore, the answer will be B posted to discount allowed account. The next question, prepaid rent is a, now prepaid rent is a representative personal account. As when we discussed classification of personal account, we mentioned a natural person and a representative person. So prepaid rent is a part of a representative personal account taken by someone. Next question. The process of recording business transaction in a book of original entry is known as, if you remember the definition of journal, journal is a book of original entry. Therefore, the answer will be A. Let's move on to the next question. Interest account will be, now interest, if you have received interest, will be credit balance. If you have paid interest, will be a debit balance. Therefore, it can either be debit or a credit balance. Therefore, the answer will be C. The next question, goods returned by customer is entered by. Now, goods returned by customer means to say that you already have sold goods and the goods are being returned back by the customer. So it's a part of sales return. So sales return has to be debited and the concerned customer account, whoever is sending has to be credited because he is a giver. Let's move on to the next question. Closing stock is generally valued at, now we discussed the doctrine of conservatism where we mentioned that it will be cost price or the market price, whichever is lower, therefore the answer will be D. The concept of conservatism will have the effect of, if you remember the, the, the conservatism concept under conventions, accounting conventions, we said that all anticipated expenses and losses has to be taken into consideration as well as you also require to understatement of asset if any. Therefore, the answer will be B, understatement of asset. Let's move on to the next question. 
which of the following errors is an error of omission now omission here means when you have when you have recorded the transaction or you have missed the transaction in the concert account so the answer will be c where the total of sales journal has not been posted to the sales account and it has been completely omitted therefore the answer will be c let's move on to the next question Closing stock in trial balance implies that that it is already adjusted and it is adjusted with purchase. Therefore, the answer will be B. The next question, which of the following statement is correct? The trial balance is prepared after preparing the profit and loss account. It's wrong because it's prepared before the trading and profit and loss account. Second, the trial balance shows only balance of asset and liability. No, it's a balance sheet which shows the balance of assets and liabilities. The trial balance shows only nominal account balances. No, personal and real account balances are also shown. D, the trial balance has no statutory importance from the point of view of law. It's right. Answer will be D because it is only done to check the arithmetical accuracy of your books of accounts. Let's move on to the next question. While finalizing the current year's account, the company realized that an error was made in calculation of the closing stock of previous year. In the previous year, closing stock was valued more by rupees 50,000. As a result, now you are aware of that closing stock is a very important component in trading account and therefore a higher amount of rupees 50,000 in the previous year closing stock valuation will inflate the profit earned previous year. Therefore answer will be C previous year profit is overstated and the current year profit will be understated. Again the next question which of the following errors is an error of omission if you refer to point number C the total of purchase journal has not been posted to purchase account therefore the answer will be C. Next question, from the accounting point of view, loss means, now when you are selling an asset, a depreciation is a loss, when you are selling an asset at a reduced price compared to the book value, it's a term to be a loss, therefore it's basically a decrease in the owner's equity, therefore the answer will be D. Withdrawal of goods from stock by owner of the business for personal use should be recorded by debiting, we are aware of, it is termed as drawings. So drawings account has to be debited and since the proprietor has taken stock out, you can reduce it from purchase. So purchase will be credited. Answer will be D. Drawings account will be debited and purchase will be credited. Let's move on to the next question. Which of the following error is an error of principle? Now the answer will be B because rupees 5000 incurred on installation of a new plan debited to traveling expenses account. It's basically a mistake done with respect to capitalization of the installation expense to the plant account and has been posted in traveling expenses account. Therefore, it's an error of principle. Therefore, the answer will be B. Let's move on to the next question. Which of the following transaction will not be recorded in cash book? So cash received from debtors. Yes, any type of cash transaction will be recorded in cash book. Cash paid to creditors will be recorded. Salary remain outstanding. No outstanding entry or prepaid entry to be recorded in a cash book. Therefore, the answer will be C. A book wherein various accounts are opened is called. Now, when you open various account, it's basically classification of account. Therefore, it's answer C, which is ledger. Let's move on to the last question. Journal is also known by a memorandum, a kacha book, a book of original entry and proper closing book and the answer will be C, book of original entry. I hope you have got the answer with respect to the multiple choice question relating to introduction to accounting part 2. Soon I will be uploading the part 3 video with respect to the multiple choice question. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day.